In this problem, we're asked to simplify the quantity 3ab cubed raised to the negative 2 times ab to the negative 3 all over 2a to the negative 4 times b to the 0th power. We're asked to simplify this and write our answer with positive exponents. We start by looking to see if any rearrangement is possible of the terms in the numerator or in the denominator, and soon enough we recognize that there's nothing we can really move around. So we start by expanding out this parentheses by applying the product to a power rule because we have a product on the inside with a power on the outside. This applies the power of negative 2 to 3, a, and b cubed. Everything else in the problem can stay the same. We're just going to concentrate on this set of parentheses that's still left over. Since we have a power raised to another power, we multiply these two together and that will give us b to the negative 6, while everything else stays the same. At this stage, we can combine some of the terms together in the numerator. So the 3 to the negative 2 will stay at the beginning. There are no other constants. However, these two a's can be glued together. So a to the negative 2 times a can be placed in the middle here. And then outside of the flanks, we can write b to the negative 6 times b to the negative 3 together. Note that the denominator does not change. It just comes along as it is. At this stage, we can use the product rule for the a's and the b's in the numerator. Since the bases are same and we're multiplying, we can add the exponents. Negative 2 plus 1 gives us a negative 1 in the numerator for power of a. And negative 6 minus 3 gives us a power of negative 9. The denominator still stays the same. At this stage, we can finally address the b to the 0 in the denominator and just replace it with 1. A variable raised to the 0th power is always 1. Everything else stayed the same going from here to here. I just simply replaced b to the 0 with 1. Next, we can use the quotient rule on the a's because everything else is exactly as simplified as it can be. a to the negative 3, I'm sorry, a to the negative 1 divided by a to the negative 4 will result in the quotient rule being applied. So you have a raised to the top power minus the bottom power. Negative times a negative will give us a positive. So this turns into a to the negative 1 plus 4, which if we were to move to the next page, will give us a to the positive 3. Everything else stays the same. Now at this stage, we recognize that no other rules of exponents can be used other than the negative power rule. And the only reason we need to use it is because all of our answers have to be in positive exponents. So 3 to the negative 2 does not have a positive exponent, and neither does b to the negative 9. So both of these terms will need to move to the denominator by using the negative power rule, which says that any time I move a term from the top to the bottom, or from the bottom to the top, I have to change or flip the sign on the exponent. Not the sign on the term, just the sign on the exponent. So 3 to the negative 2 when it moves to the denominator becomes 3 to the positive 2. b to the negative 9 when it moves to the denominator becomes b to the 9th. The a cubed and the 2 stayed in the numerator and in the denominator respectively because they already had positive exponents. They didn't need to move or be used uh, we didn't have to use the negative power rule on those two terms. At this stage, we can recognize that 3 squared is just 9, and 2 times 9 in the denominator gives us 18. Now we do one final, final look over, one final check. All the terms have positive exponents in both the numerator and the denominator, and nothing can be simplified further. That's it.